So what's, how is this going to work? Well, the way it's going to work is, is that we're going to be able to take a look at incoming email, SQL queries, and web pages, and we're going to be able to pick out the bad guys, the ones I've colored here red. How do we do that? We'll talk about that. But let's talk about a real PDS implementation. These are the nitty gritty details that kind of slow you down. The appropriate network cri uh, criteria, well, you might have to resegment your network. Um, you don't, you might have to deal with DHCP and DNS parameters you don't know. There's lots of organizations where people have come in and plugged in an access point into the network and there went the security of the network because all of a sudden there was an open access point that was there for convenience. Knowing what's in your network is the first step. Getting the threat intelligence, again, there's a variety of sources for it. That's not the problem. The problem is being able to customize it to your environment and be able to get the continuous updates. Deploying the threat intelligence, RPZ, response policy zones, is a semi-standard, but implementations vary a little bit. You have to process the results. You wanna make sure that you don't export confidential info in the, in the course of looking at the results. So if you ship your results off to a supplier um, to be examined and generate reports, well, that means they know a lot about what's going on inside your network. That might or might not make you nervous. Um, and then you got to incorporate what's learned. Now you might sit back and say, well, gee, this is all very complicated. I don't have the security staff and so forth and so on. The good news is that these tasks can in some cases be ignored and in some cases can be outsourced. 